please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. When working with Python, you might encounter situations where you want to create a Python file with the same name as a standard library module. This can lead to confusion, as Python might import your file instead of the intended standard library module. In this tutorial, we will explain how you can name your Python file the same as a standard library module and provide solutions to avoid conflicts. Python searches for modules in specific directories, including the current working directory and the directories listed in the sys.path variable. When you import a module, Python checks these directories in order and loads the first module it finds with a matching name. If you create a Python file with the same name as a standard library module in your working directory, Python will prioritize your file over the standard library module, leading to unexpected behavior. One way to resolve this conflict is to use relative imports within your Python file. By using relative imports, you can specify the desired module's location explicitly. Here's an example. Suppose you have a Python file named random.py in the same directory as your main script. Instead of importing your file like this, you can use a relative import like this. The dot, dot, in the import statement indicates that you want to import the random.py file from the current directory. This will prevent Python from mistakenly importing the standard library's random module. Another straightforward solution is to rename your Python file to something that does not conflict with standard library module names. This avoids the issue altogether and is often the cleanest solution. For example, you could rename your random.py file to my underscore random.py to avoid naming conflicts. You can modify the sys.path list to control the order in which Python searches for modules. However, this method is not recommended, as it can have unintended consequences and may make your code less portable. By inserting the directory containing your module at the beginning of sys.path, you can ensure that Python will prioritize your module over the standard library module with the same name. Naming a Python file the same as a standard library module can lead to conflicts, but there are several ways to mitigate the issue. You can use relative imports, rename your file to avoid conflicts, or modify sys.path. It's essential to choose the solution that best fits your project's requirements and keeps your code clean and maintainable. Chat GPT Title Creating a Python library and using it in the same file Introduction In Python, creating a library, or module, is a common practice to organize your code into reusable components. Typically, you define classes, functions, or variables in a separate file, and then you import and use them in your main program. However, Python allows you to define a library and use it in the same file, making it convenient for small projects or quick scripts. This tutorial will guide you through creating a Python library and using it within the same file. Prerequisites Step 1. Create a Python file Start by creating a new Python file. You can name it whatever you like, for this example, let's name it mylib.py. Step 2. Define functions in the library. In mylib.py, define the functions you want to include in your library. For instance, let's create a simple function that calculates the square of a number and a function that finds the factorial of a number. Step 3. Use the library in the same file. Now, you can use these functions in the same file where the library is defined. Create another section in mylib.py and call the functions from the library. Step 4. Run the script. Save the mylib.py file and run it using the Python interpreter. Output. Explanation. In this example, you created a Python library with two functions, square, 
and factorial. You then use these functions in the same file where the library is defined. This approach is suitable for small scripts or projects where you want to keep everything in a single file for simplicity. Conclusion Python's flexibility allows you to create and use libraries in the same file, making it easier to manage your code for smaller tasks. As your projects grow, you can always separate your code into multiple files and import them as needed. ChatGPT